What is going on guys? I am Consumer Tech Review and today we're going to be checking out if a non-name brand gaming mouse that's ultralight is actually worth it. I'm going to be comparing this directly to the Razer Viper. And at any point during the video, if you want to check out this mouse or the Razer Viper, I'll have both of them linked below for Amazon, for the US, UK, and Canada. But let's get right into the video. Okay, so this is called the Two Extreme Gaming Mouse and the Razer Viper right here is the Razer Viper and this thing costs like 56 bucks. This costs 26, so it's almost half of what the Razer Viper costs. Now, the Razer Viper weighs 69 grams, which is still great for a ultralight gaming mouse. This weighs 65 grams, so it is lighter. And I will say the unboxing experience was not bad and it actually feels pretty high quality. It's also this different design, which I actually really like because it's different. So much of these ultralight are doing honeycomb and obviously the Razer Viper is completely different. It just looks normal. This has this cool design. It feels nice in hand. It's also just like the Razer Viper. It is a ambidextrous mouse, although it only has buttons on this side while the Razer Viper has them on both. However, I don't think that's double the cost worth it. And this also does have some nice RGB that actually looks good. It doesn't look cheap and cheesy. It has some on the scroll wheel and back inside of it, which I actually really like. This does not at all look like a budget mouse, which is great. And it doesn't feel like it either. The sides are nice and grippy and they don't feel cheesy or crappy. There is no gloss plastic except right there, but it doesn't look bad. And even the Razer Viper has it in the same place. This is also using a Pixar 3327 sensor, which is not bad. That's actually in one of the Logitech gaming mice. So you're getting specs that are actually pretty good. It's up to 12,000 DPI and you do also get a 1000 Hertz polling rate, but those are just the specs. How does it actually directly compare with the Razer Viper? We're gonna hop in Warzone and see and use these side by side. I'm gonna switch between them and see which one is actually better. Well, I think we know that the Razer's probably gonna be better, but how does this compare to the Razer? All right, now we do have these set at the same sensitivity DPI, but I use that Razer Viper every day. I use it also with the Logitech G502 pretty much every day for gaming, so I'm used to that one. So we're gonna start with the two extreme. It's called the Unit 001. Two Extreme Unit 001. Not a bad name, honestly. I don't, I don't mind that. All right, now for the loadout, I am gonna use like a marksman rifle to kind of test the sensitivity. I'm typically pretty good. I'm not amazing, but I'm pretty good uh, with aiming with something like a marksman rifle on the Viper. It has enough accuracy where I can do that and be fairly accurate with it. Can this one do the same thing? I will say also it glides better than the Razor. I don't know if that's because it's lighter, but it does. Okay, not bad. The buttons on here are actually quite raised up and they feel really good actually. I'm surprised by that. I think they feel they feel slightly better as a button as the actual click. The razor is better on these side buttons. Uh, however, the feeling of them is definitely better. Yeah, they're more raised up than the razor is, but the razor definitely has a more distinct clicking sound than this one. This feels it's a little bit harder to press in. It's a little bit more travel to click. Although not an issue, you can get used to that. Now the switches and the clicks feel nice. Uh, not like the Razer, those have optical switches that feel really good, uh, but not bad. For 25 bucks, 26 bucks, pretty dang good. Guys, not bad, right? Two kills right off the bat. I'm not seeing a big difference. Now, it does feel a little bit different because of these buttons. These side buttons, I use them all the time with gaming. Uh, let's switch back to the Razer right now and see if I can feel a difference. Right away, it's different because the my hand is actually closer to the desk. Now the scroll wheel on the other one does feel not quite as nice and tactile and heavy. Uh, it is lighter. Uh, and if you guys prefer a lighter one, when I first switched over to the Razer Viper, I was like, wow, this is actually quite heavy. Uh, although it's very tactile and very precise. This one's not quite as precise, though it still does have the tactileness. It's better than a lot of, you know, not very expensive uh, gaming mice. The Razer feels good. The side buttons feel much better, but let's switch back now. It feels, oh, it, I'm getting kills and it doesn't feel that much different. I mean, the actual feel of the body itself is not that different. However, the lightness of it, the overall feel without the actual, I mean, that is so similar. It's kind of crazy to me. This is actually performing much better than I expected it to, uh, which is pretty crazy to me. And there, got another down. Um, God, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy it's this good. Also, the no mouse, mouse button feels pretty freaking good. Look at that. But guys, this is performing really well. Uh, I'm going to finish the round, and then I'm going to give you my overall thoughts on how this mouse directly compares to the Razer. 
And obviously the feeling of it is not quite as nice as this. I think this is just, you know, more ergonomic. This one is a little bit sharper, but is that worth twice the price? If you guys don't have much money, is this good for you? That's what we're trying to figure out. All right, guys, so we finished one match. I switched between them and then I basically use this to finish most of the rounds. And I will tell you, this thing is lighter than the Razer. It doesn't feel quite as good ergonomically because of these sharp angles right here, although it is a uh, ambidextrous mouse, so you can use this uh, even if you're left-handed. The actual buttons feel nicer. I wish they were larger. The clicks, you do have to go in a little bit far uh, than, or a little bit farther than the Razer. But overall, the RGB is good. There's a massive light over there. It's still bright. It's clean. The design is cool. It's 65 grams and it's pretty accurate with a 3327 PixArt sensor. The clicks feel good. And for 26 bucks, if you guys can't afford or don't want to afford the Razer, uh, I think this is a pretty dang good 26 buck ultra light mouse. Now, one of the things that I'm not too thrilled about is the cable, although it was much stiffer when I actually got this like yesterday. It's not quite like the Razors, but it's not too stiff, which is actually pretty good. So guys, again, if you do want to go check out this mouse or the Razor mouse, I'll have both of them linked below for the US, UK and Canada. But honestly, I think this is actually a great purchase if you guys can't afford uh, a nicer ultra light mouse uh, or you don't want to afford it and you just wanna spend 26 bucks, this is a steal if you wanna do some fast-paced FPS gaming with some ultralight mice. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I'm sorry it was a little bit of a different style video. I never know how good these are gonna be, so a lot of videos I'll film them, and then they, they aren't good, so I never post them. But this one actually surprised me, and it's definitely gonna be a video, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, hit that subscribe button below. We're trying to get to 100K. Actually, we're trying to get to 50K first, but 100's coming up. Thank you guys for all the love and support. I don't know if I've told you guys this yet, but your guys' support is like absolutely crazy. Your comments are like ridiculously nice, supportive. They help motivate me every single time I read them, which I read them, like every comment I read. Uh, maybe a few comments sometimes when I'm like on break, I don't read, uh, but pretty much every other comment I read. And sometimes I get depressed or, you know, you just get burned out or something like that. Everyone gets like that sometimes. So to help motivate me, I'm actually making a collage of all of your guys' comments. Not all of them, but some of them that I really, really like. So already some of you guys have been screenshot and you will be on this little board that I'm going to make to help motivate myself. And I will show it to you guys when I'm done in probably a week or two. But again, thank you for all of the support. This was Consumer Tech Review, and I'll see you guys in the next video.